welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be another Lululemon haul. This one is a little bit different because it's a swimwear haul. So normally I do like summer haul, spring haul. There's a lot of active wear. This is a dedicated video to all of their swimwear. So I tried to snag as much of it as I could when it was in stock because if you've ever shopped Lulu swimwear before, it does tend to come and go pretty quickly. But I have lots of different options, different style bottoms, one pieces, bikinis. So we're gonna get right on into it. I did wanna thank Lululemon for partnering with me for this video. You guys know I absolutely love them. I think you guys love them as much as I do. Um, I will have all of my measurements, all of these items listed and linked down below per usual. So let's get right on into it. We're gonna start with bikinis. First up, we're gonna start with this really cute seersucker collection. I think I'm saying that right in the striped white and blue color. So first up, I have the Seersucker Triangle Swim Top. Um, it is an AB cup, only sold online, paired with the Seersucker Skimpy Mid-Rise Swim Bottom. And this is the Stripe White Blue Hail. I had to look at my phone to say that because good Lord, there's a lot going on in those names. But overall, I loved the fit of these, love the style. You can see that the top and bottom actually have kind of like a, not a ribbed pattern to them, but they're like textured. It's almost like, I don't know how to describe it. It's not waffled, but I hope you guys are able to see that on camera. There's a little bit of a texture to it and just having the stripes. I've said this in past bikini hauls, that's always flattering because when you get out of the water, you can't see the outline of everything. This top in particular, I thought was really cute. You will see I actually got it in two colors because I love it. I'm a very simple person when it comes to bikinis. So this was right up my alley. And the one thing I will say, I got smalls in the tops and bottoms because one of the other bikinis in here I had already tried. The smalls fit me perfect. So I was like, oh cool, I'll just stick with smalls. I think I would prefer a medium in this whole uh, seersucker collection. I don't know if it's the material of them. They just seem to fit a little bit tighter than the other one I had tried previously. Still fits, it just, I would say if you're in between sizes, I would go with the bigger size. Based off of their sizing chart, I was a small, but I'm always kind of in between smalls and mediums anyway, so. I would prefer a medium. I think I am gonna exchange this top out for a medium and I will report back. But overall, love the fit. It does have a little clasp in the back. And then the thing I was most excited about, I have also complained about this in previous bikini hauls. A lot of companies are not doing padding anymore in tops and I personally do not like that. I'm someone who is already really flat chested so if there's no padding, it's just, you know, very flat. Also, you can kind of see the outline of everything and I just like the fact that you have options. So if you're someone who doesn't like padding, you can take it out, they're removable. But if you're someone who's like me and you prefer padding, they have it and I so appreciate it. So overall, love, love, love this top. This is probably my favorite that I tried. Um, I am gonna try it once again in the medium to see how I like that. The small still fits, definitely will stay in place. It doesn't squeeze me too much, I just, I'm really curious how the medium will fit now. So love that. These bottoms, as I mentioned, are a mid-rise. They have that same texture on the front. They are a little bit cheeky, but I don't think it's too much. I feel like Lulu has done a really good job of kind of making a flattering bottom where your whole bum isn't hanging out, but it also fits more athletic builds. Um, so yeah, I really liked these. Once again, they didn't cut in at all on me. I thought the little V cut was really flattering on your waist and on your legs. So smalls fit me really good in this. Definitely wouldn't want a medium. I thought they fit perfect. Um, and yeah, I think the blue and white stripe is just such a classic color pattern for the summer. Just gives me total boating vibes. And I love it. I did also get the Seersucker Swim Top in the BC Cup option. So this one, there's no clasp in the back. This for sure, I would need a medium in. Um, I think the fact that it's not adjustable like in the back, it just made it a little bit tighter. Love the look of it. Obviously you have a little bit more coverage in the front. So for people who are a little bit bustier, this would obviously be better and you have a little bit more support in the back. Both straps are adjustable though, which is also really nice. So appreciate that because we're obviously all built differently, 
but out of all the tops I tried on, I would say this for sure, if you're between sizes, 100% go up. This was really hard for me to get off, so I would 100% need a medium. Still though, loved the fit, and I just thought it was really cute, comfortable, basic. I'm a big fan of the basics. Sticking with the same theme, I mentioned that I got um, another color in this because I was so obsessed with this top. This is the Stripe White and Wheat Yellow. Love this so much. Um, once again, I got it in a small. It fits, but I'm also gonna try a medium and I will see what I prefer and let you guys know. But the one thing I loved about this is that it just has that really thin strap on the back. So once again, this is an AB cup. The BC has that second strap, so it's gonna offer a little bit more support but they have the adjustable shoulder straps as well and then the removable padding. All of their bikinis or one pieces have padding. Love that. One of the items I was actually most excited to try and a lot of you asked me to review this is the high-waisted bottom in the same Searsucker collection. Um, this is the same thing in that striped white wheat yellow. So cute. I don't tend to like high-waisted bottoms I feel as much as other people simply because for laying out purposes, I just feel like it will leave a weird tan line. However, these are probably the most comfortable high-waisted bottoms I have ever put on. Same thing, they're like a little bit cheeky, but nothing ridiculous. You still have good coverage in the back. It's not like you're wearing a thong. I know a lot of the bikinis recently have gotten very, very, very small on the back to the point where you can't really distinguish like, is that the front of the bathing suit? Is that the back? <laughs> um, love these and once again they have that same like textured going on or textured material going on on them all of them have that smalls fit really good in these as well so i would just say if you're between sizes and the tops i would go up um, the bottoms all fit me really well and those i was very surprised with because once again i'm not a huge high-waisted person when it comes to bathing suits those were so comfortable Next up, we have this really pretty blue bikini. This is in the color sheer blue. The top is the Waterside V Sear Sucker Swim Top in a CD cup. So this is obviously gonna offer a little bit more coverage, compression for larger chests. They still have the little clasp in the back and then thicker shoulder straps and overall the cups are a little bit bigger. And then I have that paired with the matching bottoms. This is the same Sear Sucker. So you can see it has that same like texture going on on it. These are a mid-rise medium swim bottom. So instead of having the V-cut like the other mid-rise ones do, these are obviously gonna offer a little bit more coverage. Same thing in the back. Love them both. I think these are my personal favorite just for my body type. I feel like they're flattering, I'm comfortable in them. Um, but if you're someone who wants a little bit more coverage, these would definitely be a good option for you. I think the sheer blue is beautiful. I was just like wondering where I set the top. Um, but yeah, I'm a big fan of pastel colors and I just think this blue is really cute. Once again, the smalls fit really good. The small fit really good in this top. Um, it was just the other ones, especially the one that didn't have the adjustable back. The, I think that one was the BC support. I could definitely get away in a small in the CD support and in the AB the BC, 100%, I would need a medium. Um, but yeah, loved this. Last Bikini Up is actually one I've reviewed already. I had this in my summer haul because once again, I snagged it when I could because I feel like they sell out fairly quick. Um, but this is the same style as the last one I showed you, but this is a much like silkier look. So there's no texture going on on this. Um, I love the blue color. This is called Blue Hail. Same thing, smalls and both. This is really the bikini I based my sizing off of for the other ones because the smalls fit so good in the skimpy bottom and in the top. Um, I think this material is overall just a little bit thinner and stretchier than the other bikinis I tried. So once again, if you're between sizes, I would go up in the ones that have this like texture going on on them and the striped ones, but these plain, just silkier materials seem to run very true to size. Bikini bottom wise, if you couldn't tell, the mid-rise skimpy fit is for sure my favorite. The name cracks me up, um, but I think the back coverage is just really flattering. You get a little bit 
of that cheeky look without being too exposed. That's at least how I feel. So now I have them in three different colors and I'm so excited. Those are the bikinis. Now let's move on to the one pieces. So the first one up is the V-neck ribbed one piece. This is in the color white. You can see it has the really pretty paneling on there. It's almost like pinstriped. So same thing, it has that texture on there. You can't see the outline of everything. It has removable cups in there. We've been over how much I love that. Straps are adjustable in the back and then you'll see this one compared to the other one, the back comes up a little bit more. Really liked this. I think the V-neck is really flattering and overall I love that they just put a little bit of a texture on a plain white suit just to give it a little extra pop and to add that texture on there so it helps when you're getting in and out of the pool. The bikinis or swimsuits don't just like cling to places. So really liked this. The small actually fit really well in both of these one pieces. Once again, I would say though, if you're someone who's in between sizes, I would go up. The smalls did fit me really well. They didn't cut in anywhere, but I could see if you're between sizes, maybe going up. And then the nice thing is you can always adjust those straps because they are adjustable. I told you how much I loved the sheer blue and that bikini. So I also had to try it in the one piece. This is the Waterside U back ribbed medium one piece in once again, the color sheer blue. And this is by far my favorite out of the two one pieces. As I mentioned, I'm not a one piece person. However, I will be wearing this 100% because I love open back tops, swimsuits, what like anything. I love open back. I think it's so flattering and I love this color. And look at that scoop. I'm here for that. Um, same thing, you get a little bit more coverage. There's not as high of a hip cut on this one. So if you're someone who doesn't like when it comes up higher, you would like this as well. This one obviously just has the scoop in the front. There's no V-neck like this one. So here they are side by side. Once again, both have removable cups, adjustable straps, and there's the back difference. So the white has the V with the higher back. The blue has the scoop with the big scoop in the back. I love that. Um, and then you can see the hip cut on the white one comes up a little bit more than it does on the water side one. But both fit really well, size smalls and both, and those did fit. I didn't feel like they were going anywhere. The one thing I will say, I forgot to mention with the V-neck one piece is that because the back comes up higher, it did kind of gap um, on my lower back a little bit. I usually run into issues with that with all one pieces because I have a longer torso. I didn't run into that issue with the blue one simply because the back comes down so low, it kind of, it doesn't really give any room for it to gap because it's already open. So that is the one downfall to this. If you're someone who has a long torso like me, maybe try this option instead. But once again, overall smalls fit really good, very comfy, very flattering and I would say they fit pretty true to size. I would just go off of their sizing guide online. And then if you're also like me and kind of in between sizes, I would just recommend sizing up in the seersucker, um, definitely the B to C swim top, but possibly even the A to B. That is gonna be it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comment down below or message me on Instagram. Once again, I will have all of these items plus my measurements listed and linked down below. So you can also check there if you're cur curious about my sizing or the sizes I got in these or you're looking for links for them. But hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video.